women in general are more panoramic in their view of an issue or a problem. I think that they, that they tend to um, look at all the different touch points that their decision is going to impact and take that all into consideration where I think men are more laser focused. And I think just the world we live in lends itself to that kind of panoramic view. If you think about even just recent difficult decisions that were made in the business world, if you think about the GM um, recall, this is an issue that wasn't just between GM and those customers who were affected. It was the customers who were not affected. It was the non-customers. It was regulatory bodies. It was the dealerships. There were so many different people affected. And I think that women value teams and team thinking, and that they're more likely to solicit information from all those touch points to basically inform their decisions and make decisions that are more likely to work in an environment where there are so many touch points. The other thing I think women do really well is persuade in a very stealth fashion. I think that. <laughs> Women, by nature, tend to um, peel the onion and get to know and learn uh, the person sitting on the other side of the table from them. And they use that information to figure out what are the pain points, what are the motivating points, what are the points that are going to persuade that person. Rather than just pushing their argument, they let that discussion be a two-way street.